Parvovirus is a very serious condition for dogs and immediate treatment is necessary for them to make a recovery. A dog with this problem will become dehydrated quickly due to the loss of fluids between vomiting and diarrhea. This can be controlled with medications and through and for to get fluids back into the body. Severe stomach cramps are often associated with parvovirus, so medication in the form of a pain reliever is given to help take care of this symptom. Sometimes a dog will be completely knocked out in order for the vet to gain control over the situation. A dog with parvovirus may become aggressive because it is scared. When they are put under they will be easier to work with. A high fever needs to be taken care of when a dog has parvovirus. Often, the fever can be reduced with the administration of medications. If that doesn't help to drop the fever fast though giving the dog a cool bath may be part of the process. Once the temperature starts to go down the dog will be removed from the cool water and continually monitored. It is important to note that in young dogs with the parvovirus, they can have a fever and then hours later their temperature is too low. This is why it needs to be continually monitored. When the body temperature is too low, covering the dog with a heated blanket can help to bring it back up to where it needs to be. A dog needs the comfort and support of a human when it has such a virus. Research shows those that are held, talked to, and comforted have a will to survive that others won't have. Offering small portions of water and food during this period of time is important as well. The vet will be looking for the dog to consume something and to even wag its tail. Those are signs that it may be able to get past this horrific type of virus. Once a dog is stabilized, a round of antibiotics for a period of 10 days will be given. Depending on the severity of the case the dog may have to remain at the vet for this period of time. If the dog is doing well then it may be sent home with medication and specific details about how to ensure it is able to recover well. The sooner a dog is seen by a vet to get treatment for parvovirus the better chance it will have of a recovery. The virus can spread very quickly though and cause permanent damages to the internal organs. Even making the decision to wait until morning to take a dog to the vet for this ailment can prove to be too late for them to survive. Parvovirus can be prevented by getting young dogs properly vaccinated. It is very important to get them on a schedule for their shots. If you get a dog and they don't have such shots talk to your vet. Until those shots can all be done, you may be asked to isolate your dog from environments where it could contract the parvovirus.